Welcome back my YouTube family. In today's video, I'll be going over the process of how I painted this standard aluminum shower enclosure to this satin black. I believe it had a dramatic impact on the aesthetics of the overall bathroom. So stick around and I'll just go through the process. I decided to disassemble the shower enclosure knowing that it wasn't held up by many screws at all. Also, um, the fumes and everything like that, the masking, I just didn't want to deal with that. So I figured it was best for me to just take it all the way down, making sure I cut the caulk lines and made sure I took note to where the screws went, not necessarily removing any of the anchors that was in the wall because I just want to put it right back up the way I disassembled it. I knew I had to remove the caulk, not only on the aluminum shower enclosure pieces, but also on the towel and wherever caulk was left in the bathroom. And as I was going through it, I said, look, it gotta be a better way. So the internet to the rescue, this WD-40 worked out a treat. You just spray it on there, let it sit for a little while, and the caulk really just peels off. Now that the caulk was all removed, I used this industrial cleaner just to get everything clean, remove all of the oil from the WD-40, and remove any residue or anything like that was left over on the pieces. For masking, we ran some painter tape around the perimeter first and then covered up the rest of the glass with just regular paper and again using painter's tape. Using self-etching primer, in my opinion, is key uh, for painting over steel, aluminum. It just creates a really good bonding surface so your paint don't peel off, especially considering that this will be in a shower, so it's going to get a lot of water. Um, thought it would be best to use automotive paint, use two coats of that, and then for the protective paint, we use satin enamel, two coats. So all together, about five coats of paint for this job. So I probably should have watched a couple of YouTube videos prior to trying to spray paint. Uh, I'm not experienced at it at all. It's just something that I typically do not do. But as time went on, I got better at it. But definitely the method that I was using at first uh, could have been a lot better. There was a couple of pieces that I had to flip over after letting it dry for about 15-20 minutes and also the door. So it took a little bit longer to dry because the temperature outside wasn't, I think it was about 40-50 degrees. So if it was a little warmer outside then it would have dried a lot faster then probably also would have dried a little bit more smoother. I think it was about the second or third coat uh, when Sharon came out in the garage and saw my method of painting and she quickly corrected me uh, using her method of holding the can more perpendicular, um, doing more even light passes, uh, definitely made a much better painting experience and also a better finish. So thank you so much, Sharon. Since I had removed the shower enclosure in its entirety, I thought this would be an ideal time for me to actually re everything in the shower as well. I'm just using white silicone based caulk specifically designed for bathrooms and kitchen. I'm also using my finger just to smooth everything over so I can have a nice finished look. The 
Now it's time to put everything back together. I'm making sure that I put plenty of silicone caulk on the bottom here because this is the only thing that's holding this to the base of the shower. I'm being really careful as I pull this paint off the glass, I'm using my utility knife to score around um, just to make sure that the paint doesn't peel off of the aluminum. As stated earlier, it was colder than what is recommended to be out spray painting, so the paint did take a long time to dry, and I had a couple of little things I needed to touch up. Now it's just a matter of caulking everything in the big cleanup. Changing out the dated aluminum shower enclosure was definitely something that was on the list. Um, looked at a couple of quotes and it was going to cost around $1,200 to get it done. Um, I think that, you know, painting this, making it more modern, definitely gave it a facelift, gave it a boost, and also did wonders to the aesthetic of the room. So, uh, you look at it, $60, $70 for some spray paint versus $1,000, I am more than happy with the outcome. It really, really does make the room pop. And given the work involved, I would do it again. I really appreciate you all sticking around for this video. There's more videos that I will be uploading and have already uploaded in regards to the makeover of this particular bathroom. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, then subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload new videos. Until the next time, eight.